there from Taylor, really, really enjoying that. Now, the world has evolved into a place where anything and literally everything is possible. Now, while many people have progressed and are living better lives, there is still that 1% who are subject to wealth inequality, which is why internationally acclaimed photo editor Miles Little curated the 1% Privilege in a Time of Global Inequality exhibition, which finally makes its 55th stop right here in the mother city. Now, from the exhibition is Heidi Erdman to tell us a bit more, and it's great to have you here with us. Thank you for, for joining us so early in the morning to talk about this very exciting exhibition. Um, and, you know, the fact that art is um, very often used to tell a very powerful message. We, we sometimes see a light-hearted side of life, but in this case, we're talking about 1% privilege in a time of global inequality. And it's got a powerful story to tell. Give us a bit of a background on that. Yeah, I think that it was very important for me to want to bring this exhibition to um, South Africa because South Africa is such an um, unequal society. Yes. And um, if, you, if you see that the exhibition has been traveling like all, of, all across the world, um, uh, very important uh, photographic exhibitions and uh, festivals, um, it, was, it was difficult to bring it to South Africa because we had to find a proper venue. And I was yes. really, really happy to find this, um, the Siobhan's Battery Museum at the waterfront. Mm -hmm. I think that it's a it's an important um, message, and uh, and I think that we should um, engage in this um, in this topic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And initially, as I understand, there were some two thousand images that were taken as part of the exhibition, but they were narrowed down by Miles Little to just sixteen. Tell me about these sixteen unique images and what makes them so pertinent to telling this powerful story. I think it's really difficult when you take like an exhibition like Inequality and you want to um, you want to present a different um, uh, perspective. So Miles decided that inequality he, d he did not want to consider um, inequality from a from a lens of poverty. He wanted to um, um, consider it through wealth. Mm -hmm. So nor did he want to um, use um, the cliched images. If you, if you look at these images, there, there are very few cliched images of wealth. There are no sort of fur coats and no Lamborghinis. They're very meditative images hmm. to make you think about um, a, a very abstract concept of privilege. Um, and I think that it's important for us to sort of also sort of Consider um, how you know how do we how do we as a society deal with inequality, and if we can bring exhibitions like this to make us think, then I think it's it, it's important. Yeah. yeah. Now, for those who aren't able to go and uh, experience the actual exhibition, the book has now also evolved into. I mean, the, the exhibition has evolved into yes. a book, yes. which is wonderful. Is there any more room for growth and in spreading uh, this work? Yes, we have. Uh, we've launched um, a one percent Cape Town project. Okay. Hashtag one percent Cape Town. So, but but um, again, one has to go and see the exhibition, or maybe you can find an image and then shoot a selfie with it. Mm -hmm. Because I think that as the curator of the project in Cape Town, I'd like to sort of find out which is the image that Cape Townians or South Africans most associate. Um, with this idea of yes. privilege and wealth. Yeah. Um, and I mean, these are the kind of images that's very, very varied. Yeah. Yeah. How, how are you hoping that this will inspire not just local photographers, but creatives to tell powerful stories through their creativity? Well, number one is like we're launching this competition and we have amazing um, prizes to win. Mm -hmm. There's definitely, I mean, I can't confirm, but there are some really, really good prizes. So, and that's, <coughs> excuse me, that's one way of engaging a public. Yes. Um, um, by viewing an exhibition and maybe considering it and taking a photograph and um, and um, yeah. Well, I hope that it does do the, this work and that it does really move people because we do live in a time of inequality and I think uh, you know it, it's we're called upon right now to use all of our resources to make a better world for everyone out there. So Heidi, thank you very much for joining us and if you'd like to catch a glimpse of uh, the exhibition, you can go to the Siobhan's Battery Museum at the V&A Waterfront uh, and it is now on until February next year. Wonderful news for art lovers out there. Uh, right now, it's time for us to plug and play and check out the latest in gaming. Graham's got more.